Oh, what's up, people? Dopsyvals is right here, and I want to apologise. Pretty much, first off, is that I know that all the um, Japan trips now are done and everything, and then you might be thinking, "Where's all the Japanese cars now?" I thought, "Have you? I thought you had more." Yes, I do have more. Hence the term. I have this. Yes, this is the 20th anniversary big massive blister that has the surfing Pikachu and the Mega Slowbro which is very very darn rare over in the United Kingdom I looked on eBay I bought this for 1180 yen that's just a little over eight pound that is cheap for something like this I go on eBay like this week not last week, this week, and this is running 30 to 50 pound on eBay. As this is why I want to apologise, you guys. I should have been more and more careful that these would become way expensive in the United Kingdom. Hence the term, this thing is not going to be opened. I know, and I apologise for that, but I'll make it up to you guys because. I have one spare pack that's still loose and I will open this one I promise you I will open this and these are seven pound a pack now in the United Kingdom there's one guy on eBay that's selling them for three pound each and he's only got ten left I don't know if I might go ahead and buy them because I don't know if he's gonna weigh them and now I'm gonna get bad cards I don't know but I've got this and I've got this these are both for Japan these were, they were the same price, around about 8 quid, about one about there for this. It has gone a bit more up, but I might as well open it up for you guys. This is the only thing that's pretty much left from Japan that's going to be opened. Here's the term, yes, the Mythical Collection and that big massive booster box of Pokemon 20th Anniversary, which will not be open because it's on eBay for £90. Odd There's that. You might be thinking, why the am I showing you some packs again? I want to give you a good massive rundown, people, because um, since I've been on holiday and everything, and I've been doing going back to work and everything, and I've just been doing scheduled recordings, my Yu-Gi-Oh! slash Pokemon collection has gone quite big, and it's gone ridiculously big. Meaning, i got to open some of this a lot soon, really soon, to get videos up sorted as well. Same thing with the music videos as well, people. Music videos, if you guys want to know as well, or lip syncing or anything like that, send me a request. I would love to hear your requests on what you guys would like me to do. And I'm very sorry on how I'm speaking a bit right now, because last night I went to Manchester till 2 o'clock in the morning, so I'm still quite, still quite a bit tipsy still. Well, not really, it's slowing down, but enough of all that. Right now, I'm going to show you everything that I have got to open for you guys. That's right, I'm showing you the lot. So if you guys want to know what's going to be open in the near future, I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not going to sneeze. Okay. So everything that's going to be open soon, you're going to see it. And then I'm going to show you as well the stuff that's not even going to be opened. Why, you may ask? Because I know in the near future they're going to, kind of, they're going to become rare and even harder to find. Let's turn one of the things I got in Tokyo. Because I have a big massive hunch that I'll never find that thing ever and ever, 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 ever again. Unless I find another one. You get my drift. With that being said, let's have a look on what's going to be opened in the mere time. Okay people, I've actually started on the very first shelf because this shelf is quite ridiculous and i got to show you that. And plus I'm also going to show you what I'm actually keeping everything, which will be in a separate video if you guys want to know. But first off we'll start with these, the legendary collections. That's why I've got one, two, three, four, five, six legendary collections. That is crazy people. And plus, what are the main rare ones people? Legendary collection three, Yugi's world. And also I got myself Yugi, um, Joey's world. And I also got myself five Ds, which for him to say, I've not even opened one before. Yes, that's why right. I've literally just kept myself saying, I'm gonna keep one. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them until a, something very special happens, which is will which will be happening. That's why I've just been sat in, sat on the same area. Whoops! Everything's falling. Everything's falling. 
that's why I've kept them there for such a long, long time, and I just never came across it to open them yet. So uh, it's quite funny. The next, all the slot here. This is all for the first shelf, right? This is all consist of one video. I know what you're thinking, what is this? Is this some type of extravaganza? This is mainly form of a collection, meaning 5Ds. That's right, you got Hidden Arsenal, you got Crimson Crisis, you got Hidden Arsenal 4, you got two tins. You might be thinking, what are you doing with this lot? It's because I'm trying to go after nearly every single pack from 5Ds. I know this is not 5Ds, but it was a Hidden Arsenal, so I had to get them. So, you got like all the 5Ds and everything all in there, not all of them because some of them are in these tins, that's why I got them. But I got some very hard ones to come by, some first editions, some non editions. Just a lot, a lot of packs and everything. Every single pack that actually got released in 5Ds, if I recall. Not like, not to, um, not to um, gold series or anything like that. I'm meaning like the solid, solid series ones that were from the show. Like Hidden Arsenal, the Hidden Arsenals, they were mainly part of the show. But the gold series, they weren't really because there was just like a collection of cards that were remastered or being brand new to the game. So there's that. Next up here, I've got almost a whole booster box of D Power to Do List. Yes, this is not a whole booster box, which is a shame. But it's not even in an actual booster box anyway. It's in the Star Pack 2013. I got these randomly from a shop. In this one, in pack of um, in this booster box of Duelist Alliance, this has every single expansion pack in um, the fourth generation of Yu-Gi-Oh, from Primal Origins all the way down to um, from Sh Shadow Spectres and all the others. And then you got yourself two sealed booster boxes right here. You got Card Empires. I got this for twenty nine quid, which is such a bomb of a booster box for that price. Judgment of Light and Shadow Spectres, very nice booster boxes to actually to actually obtain. A special edition of uh, Tactical Evolution, very nice. I don't have a clue why I've not opened this yet. Uh, Hero Strike, Structure Deck, um, Cyrus's Structure Deck, or well, Starter Deck for um, Yu Gi Oh GX, which is nice. I've got myself five packs of Duelist Pack um, Rivals of the Pharaoh, two movie packs, uh, two Force of the Breakers, ten packs of uh, Rise, of, Rise of Destiny. 10 packs of Ancient Sanctuary and uh, 10 packs of Epic Dawn. So pretty much that's all what's on that shelf and everything, which is quite mad, but there's a lot more on this shelf, except for that thing. That is going to be put up there, but there's not enough room, people, I know. But we'll get to that in a minute, so. Actually, no, I forgot. There's ones underneath here. Legendary Index number two. And also, I got these dirty, dirty cheap. Two mythical um, collections, Arceus and Darkrai, for $9.99 a piece. They will be opened until we do a big massive extravaganza of the mythical collections at the end of the year. That's right, that's why I've been keeping them. That's why I've not opened them ever since. So there's that that I'll tell you about. But I'm going to cut the video right here for a minute so I can get the other stuff for you. Be right back. Okay, people, now this is the second lot of the, um, this is on the second shelf. I know what's all this lot doing. These are all empty boxes, empty booster boxes that I did in the way past. So, yeah, you get my drift, everything, you know, open packs and all that lot that I've done and all that lot. So don't worry about that lot, people. That's nothing to do with anything. Of course, I found a random hollow. Awesome. <laughs> but anyhow, this is the second lot of the shelf, right? Now, this looks a bit smaller, but... There's a lot of lost cards here, people, seriously. First off to the Yu-Gi-Oh, we've got ourselves a Dark Illusion Special Edition. It's the newest thing that I actually obtained. Another booster box, which is War of the Giants Reinforcements, which is unbelievable that I got this quite cheap. I got both tins of the Mega Tins of this year. Um, Kaiba, you know, Seto Kaiba, and uh, Yugi Moto, aka Iami, because, you know, that's the main guy. With have Oblis the Tormentor and Slice of the Sky Dragon right at the front. And... If I was them, this is what I really want to do. They do show a lot, a lot of love for the Ring Dragon of Ra, but we know that Yugi had Slifer and Seto Kaiba had Obelisk. Why can't we make a tin for Marek? Leave a comment down below if you want to have a Marek tin. That would be unbelievable, people. With, Slife, with um, the Ring Dragon of Ra, Sphere Mode and the Immortal Phoenix, 
Oh my goodness, that'd be an amazing team, people. That'd be something to think about. But anyhow, that's that for the Yu-Gi-Oh part. Anyway, now time for the Pokemon stuff here. First off, I've got myself base set, one of um, X and Y, you know, Gyarados and Glade. Very nice to get these. They're very old and they're very rare now. Not very old, but they're still um, they're hard to come by nowadays. I got myself three blister packs of Fates Collide with Viz um, Vi Vilion, um, the butterfly card. And I got ones with the Froakie. So I got three, six, nine. I got 18 packs right now of Fates Collide, and they will be opened in three, different, three separate videos. You get my drift there. But the main thing for Pokemon, which will be kept till Christmas, that's why it's going to be held for that long. Why, you may ask? Because I want to do a big massive compilation, a big massive extravaganza, celebrating the 20 years of Pokemon, doing a whole mythical collection opening. Which means having every single collection that they own as the small boxes. You might be thinking, what about the big boxes? They're too damn expensive and plus they do keep its value, but these don't keep the value. These go up every single day. The most expensive one is Mew. It's in it's on the internet right now for £36. What the hell? It's one hollow, it's a pin and two packs. For 30 odd quid, that is not right. That's forgery. But I digress. I like the pricing and I'll take that any day. But that's why I got myself two Mews right there, which is nice to open up. I've got an Arceus, I've got Darkrai, I got Manfi, I got Shaman, I got Zelebi, I got Jirachi, I've got Victini. Sadly, the box is a bit opened up, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's still in there, so I'm quite happy there. That's a lot of them. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. Take away twelve. That's how many months we got guys have to wait until we get the next lot. Oh yeah. And also tomorrow I'll be going to Toy Masters to pick up the next one, which is um, Keldeo, which is awesome. So pretty much that's what we have there. And that's all that I'm going to tell you what I'm opening. You might be thinking, hmm, can we have a look at your stuff that is being sealed and it's going to be kept for me till the very end? Save that for the next episode, people. The People Absolute goes to you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio!